Computer hardware includes the physical parts of a computer, such as system case, peripheral processing unit, monitor, the mouse, the keyboard, the computer data storage, that is hardware, uh, graphics card, sound card, speakers, and motherboard. All of those are the physical parts of computer. And the category of hardware, which is the first is the internal and of course we have also what we call the external hardware. So if we say internal components, it include items such as the motherboard, central processing unit, uh, or that is also what we call CPU. Then we have also what we call ac a random access memory, or that is the RAM, the hard drive, the optical drive, then heat sink, and the power supply, and transistors, then network interface card or NIC, and universal serial bus or that is USB ports. So these are the components that we have or it is a components collectively process or store the instructions delivered by the program of operating system. So that is the internal components of our hardware. Then in external category, we have also called the peripheral components, which is those items are often connected to the computer in order to control either its input or output. So we need to connect that peripherals or that uh, hardware so that those hardware can be uh, used. No? And then the common input components include the, that is the mouse, the keyboard, the microphone, the camera, the touchpad. We have also what we call the stylus. We have the joystick, the scanner, then USB flash drive or memory card. We have the monitors, the printers, the speakers, the headphones and earphones or that is earbuds. Uh, those are examples of output computer hardware components. And that is in the category of external. Okay, we have her picture, you know, the chart, the computer hardware chart. So we have the, the hard drives, the port, we have the processor card, and we have the, the sockets, the different sockets that we have. We have the peripheral cards, then this one is the notebook RAM, okay, we have the desktop RAM. We have heard different examples also for the hardware. Number one there is, uh, some of them are belong to the internal category and the 11 are, the other 11 are typically external category. The, the number one here is, uh, we can see that it is a motherboard, no, the motherboard which is not in the, inside the, the computer system. The motherboard is the main printed circuit board of a computer. So it houses the CPU and operates as a hub that all other hardware runs through. It allocates power to the other components. Now the components will coordinate and then it enables communicate between each part of the or each of the components of the motherboard. Then number two there is the central processing unit or that is what we call CPU which is uh, one of the responsible for processing all information from from the programs which is run by the computer and each cpu has a clock speed which is the number of instruction it can process in any given second and it was or it is being measured in uh, gigahertz no so the quality of computer cpu has a major effect no nana siya effect sa atong computer kung unsa ang quality sa CPU niya and it effect on overall system performance okay another is we have what we call power supply so what is power supply uh, the power supply is the the main role of the power supply is to convert the alternating current no that is AC or the AC DC or the the, uh, the direct current and the alternating current of the outlet Okay, the power supply unit also control the voltage. So, muna siya makontrol sa voltage sa atong kanangay uh, sa atong computer. So that to prevent overheating issues. We notice that the fan is not functioning. There will be the, the possibility that is there will be uh, something wrong with our power supply. Okay. Number four is we have what we call the random access memory or RAM. Okay, that is also belong to the internal category. So the RAM is the physical hardware inside the computer and that temporarily stores data. So uh, RAM class is this memory this type of memory is 
temporary. So if is normally found in the memory slots of the motherboard and it serves as the computer's working memory for the information created by the programs. So because this memory is temporary, the computer is off, the information also is not there. No? But if the computer is functioning, the normally it will be the, the memory is also working. Okay. Next is we have the hardest drive or HDD. It is also in the internal category. So the hardest drive is the main data storage device of the computer. So it is the main data storage. So nariyatan na ng mga data store. Unlike the RAM, hard drives are non-volatile, which means that they maintain their stored data even when powered off. So kaning mga hardest drive even if there is no power, the 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 data or the information is still there. But the random access memory, if the computer is off, pag ma-off ang computer, wala dito ang data. When we save the, the documents, it automatically stored in the hard disk drive. Ato na siya sa permanent nga memory. So, even if mo-off ang, uh, mo ang kanang kurinti, okay, na-save na nato siya, ato na siya dito sa, ma-store na siya dito sa kanang uh, permanent memory, which is dito sa hard disk drive, dili na siya, mawala, kaya na-save naman. Oh, Muna siya ay uh, simple nga example of random access memory and hard disk drive. Okay, number six is we have the video card. So, what is video card? It is also known as a graphic card or a graphics card. So, the, the function of that is, it is an expansion card that enables the computer to send output images to a video display device such as a monitor. The video card typically installed via a slot on the motherboard. Number 7 is we have the solid state drive or SSD or that is this is designed to be housed inside the computer as an alternative to traditional hard disk drive. So it is something like hard disk drive also the solid state drive. But although they look almost identical to traditional hard disk drive from the outside, so they have no moving parts. This means that they use uh, less power. So, kaning SSD is less power ni siya. You can access data faster. And generally, it more reliable. Number 8 is, that is what we call optical disk drive. No? Example of this is, we have the DVD drive, CD drive. Okay. So, those are optical drives. No? Or optical disk drives. It uses a laser, light, or an electromagnetic waves to read or write data on the optical disk manang pulita magborn, di ba? Then, we have the common optical media design for use with these types of drives, no? Mani siya ang mga compact desk, DVD, okay, we have also what we call Blu-ray desk. Then, number nine is we have the card reader. Example of this is SD, SD, HC. So, most people, computers, and tablets have built-in memory card readers. Okay. Now, this enables them to, to read data from memory cards. So, ito lang isoksok ang atong memory card and then uh, makabasa na din og data ang atong computer using the card reader. Okay. Then, next is we have what we call monitor. The monitor is a hardware device that displays the video and graphics information. Uh, it is, this information is generated by the computer via the video card. And then, monitors can also be called video display units or video display terminals or simply that is what we call screen or monitor no so all their monitors ang mga karaan niya mga monitor were uh, bulky na sila mga dagko bugat no and they are using cathode ray tubes more sa TV nga karaan no but nowadays they normally use the LCD technology and are lighter and thinner so gaan na siya ang iyang mga monitor and dili na siya bugat of course, uh, ang iya pong radiation is mas laser na po siya. Number 11 is keyboard. A keyboard is a typewriter style device that enables users to interact with the computer. So, this is an input device, di ba? Using the keyboard, users input text, characters, and other commands by pressing the special buttons known as keys. So, we have our uh, subjects uh, about keyboarding at the end of the semester uh, each of each students are uh, need to be uh, blindfolded for the final exam kinanglan nga blindfold 
or to know how far they know they memorize the keyboard or the case no then number two there is we have what we call the mouse it is a handheld pointing device. So, the Leonard Modern Mouse is also able to direct the cursor. When we move the mouse, the cursor, the cursor also is moving in our monitor or in the screen. So, it directs a cursor using the optical sensors. So, most of the mouses also have two buttons, the left and the right buttons. Used for, the purpose of that is to use for selection and accessing menus. And, of course, we have also the scrolling wheel at the center. Number 13, there is the printer, which is, an, it is an output devices. Now, this printer is an output devices class. So, it will generate a hard copy, di ba? Pag mag-print mag -print out ang document, that is also, that is what we call the hard copy. or And if we say electronic copy, that is the soft copy. And the electronic copy of our information is stored on the computer, no, di ba? Usually in the form of... Pwede siya of text, pwede siya images, and then if we are going to print that one, kada mga images or mga text baka, so mana itong gamito na ang printer. So, so that we can have a hard copy of our electronic copy. So the most common types of modern printer use is, uh, kasagaran ni gamit na to karun is the ink jet or laser or we are already using most of the time the, the ink, di ba? Uh, Mabayit ang ink na ni mga unlimited din ha. Number 14 is speakers. So, computer speakers are common output. No, this is a common output device. Then, we will be using that for listening the music or listening the, the movies and other audio. And then, they are available in a range of different qualities and prices. So, gusto ni mo o glami kayo nga tingo, mupalit ka o mahalon po. Number 15 is external hard drive. So, it is a drive that uh, typically connects to the computer's USB port. Some draw power from the computer via the data cable. So, napo ni siya cable. Others need an easy wall connection. And the main benefit of this external drive is their portability. Diba? Portable siya, kanayang external hard drive. Pwede na itong madadala bisag asa. And you can carry, yes, a large amount of data around with you. Or maybe you can transfer data between different computers. From one computer to another computer. That is the advantage of that external hard drive kay portable man siya class unlike sa kanang hard disk drive na siya permanently sa sold sa atong system unit but the external hard drive pwede na to siyang dadun dadun anytime and number 16 is this top image scanner so which is uh, your hard copy if we are going to scan that uh, we can produce a soft copy or electronic file that is the purpose of the scanner it will convert the signal to digital image no, i-convert niya and enabling it to be edited. So, kung na-convert na ito into electronic or digital image, pwede na ito siyang ma-edit. Number 17 is, that is what we call projector. It enabled a room full of people to experience visuals generated by a single computer. So, they can project still or moving images onto a blank wall. A joystick, also known as a control column, no? that is an input device. So, this is usually used by a player to interact with the computer game. They are also used to control various real-life vehicles such as airplanes, so wheelchairs, surveillance cameras, the underwater vehicles. So, they are already computerized using a joystick. Then, number 19 is the headphones are a hardware output device used to listen to an audio. So, ato nang i-plug in dito sa computer and then the we as the listener will enjoy to listen the music the movies or other audio in watching a movie so we'll be using the headphones so that we cannot disturb other people then the last one is the usb flash drive it is a portable data storage device so unlike the optical drives the flash drive have no mobbing part parts making them more durable so this flash drive has an integrated USB interface and connects to the computer via a USB port. So these are uh, examples of hardware. Uh, nine of them is internal, belong to the internal category, and the other are belong to the external category.